If you could outfit any celebrity in a kilt for the Oscars, who would you pick and why? Okay. Can be anybody. <clears throat> I will say this. I'm not, there's no, there is no celebrity I like am dying to meet or have to meet or want to outfit. Like there's no one particular one. I will, I will go a higher umbrella theme type question. Okay. Or type answer. <clears throat> I would say a, a bigger dude guy, um, musclier. Okay. Here, here's one I'll, I'll say. Um, and I would specifically want to do one that is not Scottish or not Irish. Um, the rock, no, okay. no name pun intended or okay. name preference intended Okay. because he's big dude, handsome, um, definitely ripped. And the, my, my caveat would be, I would want to be able to make, to physically not, not dress him, but make sure every part of his outfit is correct. I would want to make sure he was a sincere student of the culture and wanted to do it right. I would want to make sure that he wanted to look, you know, within the bounds of good taste, he would want to look good and that kind of thing. He would want to look traditional and I would want to be able to say, okay, well, you know, here's how you wear your kilt hose this far below your knee. Make sure your flashes are at exactly this location. Here's how you wear the dress form. You don't wear a belt when you're wearing a dress form. As long as my, my contract with him, this theoretical contract would be that he would listen to my advice on how to wear it. If he would do that, I could make him look perfect and it would look good going down the red carpet. Um, there are so many celebrities when they go to wear a kilt, they just kind of give lip service to it and they do it poorly or they're given poor advice. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, Patrick Stewart in his Stewart hunting kilt with a regular suit jacket. Or um, you know, Snoop Dogg wearing his kilt on stage with his kilt hose all the way up and his flash garters like just wrapped around his leg and his hose are over his knees. Like weird little things that it's you look at it and you just go, ah, why didn't you fix that one tiny thing? Come on. Um, so I would want to make sure he looked hmm. spot on. I would want him to be strapping big dude. And that I would like to do. Okay. All right. I get that. Any input from you any uh, any celebrity you I have think, in mind i think it's um i see what you're saying i think it's basically you want to be uh helping somebody who's in the limelight to look good sh to look good and to show that they care about the heritage <clears throat> um you know or, or the aesthetics uh or both so i get what you're coming from um i would do and this has nothing to do with oscars because i don't really follow oscars i really don't follow hollywood at all um, but I got two two choices for you. One would be Vin Diesel, because he's a total nerd, and he I know he has a kilt, the leather one. And yeah. he, he has a well, no, he has a tartan kilt also, and he has okay. a custom made uh, sporn that somebody made for him a while back, which has the triple X logo on it. He I can almost guarantee okay. you would take it seriously if you tried to give him advice on it, because he's because okay. he's, he's got the nerd factor going on, and anybody who's got a nerd factor for anything tends to be able to be to transfer that to uh, that passion to something else. So he would care. He'll you know be a good I mean? choice. I saw a video with him. He's a cool guy. They were recording in Glasgow and he was on the street and someone like took a video of him. He got the, the, the crowd gathered watching the filming to sing yeah. flower Scotland um, with him exactly. singing. It. Right, let me hear you sing it. Oh, flower of Scotland. <laughs> So he's exactly. obviously into the culture. Yes. That would be a good yes. one too. I'll give you that. And I would, if I could go back in time, um, I would gift a uh, a Douglas Tartan kilt and accessories and complete outfit to Kirk Douglas. He's massively important actor, in my opinion. Great guy. Um, personal hero of mine and my family's. And I think it would be awesome to do okay. a kilt outfit for that caliber of human being. Okay. How's that? Well done. Mm-hmm.
You're welcome. Both good answers. Thank you. I'm very proud I, of I only just thought. I only just thought of them. Just. I would like dibs on Ewan McGregor if he ever needs to be outfitted. He's done it. He's done it, and he I already ask. knows what yeah. he's doing. I know. It'd be yeah. easy. But <laughs> <laughs> you get to talk to him. Um, Ewan McGregor, he did. Uh, he's done a lot of cool stuff, actually. He's done a round the world motorcycle uh, ride, not a race, but a ride for for charity. Um, yeah, he he really does groove on his uh, ancestry. So yeah, that's a good choice. A I good choice. think we may have sold him a kilt belt buckle at some point, but we couldn't prove it. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> the address the address was Hollywood, and uh, the name on it was Ewan McGregor. Um, so it could have been some maybe some could have been him, could have not. Don't know. Mm-hmm. In my brain, mm-hmm. it's him. Okay, Adam, you have anybody you'd want to put a, any celebrity you'd put a kilt in? Put a kilt on. Not put, I would love to feed. I now I just want to feed a kilt to a celebrity, <laughs> and so with that in mind, I can't think of anyone. I'm else. sorry. <laughs>